We built this theater, Caesar! Her crackhead ex kept breaking in after she was completely done with him. I'm kind of getting emotional about it. This morning, something so adorable happened. I'm on my way to go do my thing, and I get stopped behind a school bus because the person, the bus driver, must have been lost because, like, they took a wrong turn, so they backed up and did a whole thing. So we were delayed a little bit, and like the kids like in the back of the bus <laughs> just started waving. Now, normally around here, people generally are very nice. So I wasn't shocked, but at the same time, it was like, oh wow. Like, I don't know what caused them to wave, but when I waved back, all the <laughs> other kids started coming and waving so they probably you know were just excited maybe they were on a field trip or something but just little things like that because on my drive in just a lot on my mind you know I'm starting to really be in the home stretch of moving and I'm kind of getting emotional about it. Like, it's not like a state of full-on confusion, but it's like, to be honest, the main reason why is because I'm not treated like a human over there and I'm not gonna pay you obscene amount of money to live there and I'm not having my needs for my place handled correctly or even at all. There's that on top of just being, keeping it a being, I cannot afford it anymore. And me knowing that I can't afford it anymore is just realistic because if I was to delegate and keep staying there, then it's not like a, I don't want to say it's a lifestyle thing, but like every bit of the little that I have for leisure money would be completely gone. Sure, another year of, you know, having a place over my head that has space and so forth but at the end of the day I'm not the only person in this boat and I just want people to be encouraged that if you do have to downsize if you are used to more square footage and you have to you know decrease it for now just for the sake of cheaper rent you know there's still nicer areas that have cheaper rent but it's it's just increasing and i've been at that place for three years and it increased let's see three hundred and ninety dollars since i started there and it's the same place they only updated certain things you know i don't care about the upgrades that should have been something that they've done a very long time ago so it's like increasing rent for the things that you had to upgrade is ridiculous <laughs> but that's just how the renter game goes i'm emotional because I know that I built that place into a home. Um, I just have to start again with making it a home. 
So that's where I'm at right now emotionally with moving. And I also really, you know, a thought like it could be a U-Haul situation. I could save a lot of money. I could do this and that. But at the same time, I am a woman. I have to move, right? So, and, and I won't have additional help. So for me, being able to get movers are, you know, I don't know how I did it, but I'm thankful to God that I was able to, that he figured it out for me. Bittersweet situation, you know, a lot of weighing on me. So when the kids were waving, like it let me forget about certain things for a little bit, for a little bit when it came to the move. The littlest interaction can go a long way for someone's day. <sighs> it's getting to a point where I need to decide if I want to settle down with a home eventually because that timeline that people pressure people and so forth to have certain things by a certain time. It's not impacting me as hard as other people, but I did set a personal goal for myself to be, you know, a homeowner or a tiny homeowner, a RV owner within the next few years. So I'm in a mindset now where yes, I'm moving, but the next like sort of goal, God willing. I just, I don't want any ties to anything. You know, like an RV or something that is mobile for me so I can stay on the go. Cause I really do see myself traveling a lot. And it's me literally trying to figure out how I could do that. I even thought to the extent of becoming you know, um, a flight steward. So I can just fly all day and with the layovers and with the next whatever part time, just be at a hotel somewhere. Like it's either that grandiose of a plan or it's just going to be me selling everything and just buying an RV and calling it a day and taking time for me to not work, do what I want, be on here through content and so forth and just show you guys the life that, you know, I envision right now and over the years. And as I matured, the vision has tweaked a little bit, but I have always wanted, you know, a place where I can be comfortable in, be mobile in, do whatever I want in not be disrupted just have it for me and not share a wall with somebody and so forth it's just it's been snowballing into that and several ideas have popped into my head the biggest barrier has been me being responsible for so long especially for my mom and being responsible that way to her and as she's getting older you know, the internal battle happened where it's like, do I continue to stay or do I let my wings fly? Because I am so, like, I want to be released from the shackles of responsibility right now because I have been so responsible since a kid. So it's just that time. And if you saw the short on my other channel, I do have a short channel just dedicated to YouTube shorts you would know that what I feel like today? pretty soon I'm heading into a midlife crisis I'm helping. nowhere near the age of having one <laughs> but I feel that way because of the nature of my life that has been so far I know I didn't introduce the vlog I just started going I am sorry <laughs> But we will see what happens because this is towards the end of the week. See what happens for the weekend because I do want to go see a movie with my mom tomorrow before I take her back and everything. And then we'll see if there's any shenanigans going on over the weekend. 
and then leading up to, you know, the last pack ups, the last sort of thing for now. And then a new chapter begins pretty soon for me. So, yeah, this is where I'm at mentally right now. And I thank you for listening. So I will see you in the next clip. One thing I will not miss about this place is the geese. Waking me up at 7 in the morning. I'm gonna hit snooze for about five more times. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But good morning. Let's see what today brings. Squealing. Some places just really be stuck in 1960s. Crazy. We built this later, Caesar! <laughs> Right. in the conversation too. No. Okay, movie review. Went to go see the new Kingdom Ape thing with Caesar, but Caesar's son wasn't in it. And an ape called Noah saving his clan or whatever. I'ma need y'all just to go see it for yourself because it it was okay. Like there were some nice scenes and whatnot, but it, it, like the rollout for the next one. <sighs> Spoiler alert, it's probably going to be dealing with something with technology. The race for technology, you know. Apes trying to revolutionize and evolutionize and pre-osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> All the plant-based shit. And then, <laughs> and then the humans going to do the same thing because evidently they lost their heritage and their language and all that. Does that sound familiar, baby? in the bible but y'all don't y'all ain't hear from me i don't know nothing anyway it was two hours and 25 minutes and then we had joe schmo in the theater debriefing afterwards he was that's why i was cackling this bro was going in he said apes ain't got no business being here doing what they doing if you don't leave people alone that means the furry people too, because some of y'all be hairy. <laughs> so if you can sit down for that amount of time, then cool. But if you can't, the movie ain't for you. Wait until you can get to the streaming platform to watch it. But overall, what would you rate it? Hmm. I'll say 7.5 out of 10. Because it left too many open questions and the plot wasn't as like in the beginning was it unfolded correctly to me that's why i give it that what'd you say mm -hmm. you agree consensus okay 7.5 cool okay i'll see if i will pick up the camera tomorrow because it's saturday and i don't know what i'm gonna do afterwards and all that good jazz okay bye Every story of all the comedians that you help out, I know how you go back to Philadelphia, and I'm honored to know somebody like you. I really wish you would come right on the
So today has been a day and the further I get into this moving process and the more real it's getting, I'm realizing a lot of stuff and I kind of touched based on it a little bit. In some states, they have a system where the housing market is reasonable, but your job can balance things out, meaning that you can actually have a pocket to save in some regard. And some places are just not built that way. Like you literally are paycheck to paycheck. This does not logically make sense for me anymore to keep paying any type of rent at this point, not right now. You know, so I feel like with this run, with this new place, even though it's new, even though it's a lot of pros to it, yes, I lost square footage, but I'm making it a home and I'm making the country come to me right now. And that's what I'm mostly excited about. Have a place where I feel like I have been cared for throughout the whole process and communicated with. Because with the original people that were here when I first moved in, they were great with communication. And then the big corporation moved in, they sold out, and it's just about the money. For a person that was in property management, I could never catch myself not caring for the people that lived on my property ever. The fact that that happened to me, that was just a no-go for me. Then, just as you've seen the pan of the rooms with me getting rid of a lot of things, with me purging out so much to start new, because I do believe that at least if I'm not able to, like I was, I used to be able to change beddings like every month or two because I was bored. Just so many things that have changed because of the way finances are set up currently and they've just been more expensive over the years. So me prioritizing, no, I have to buy things bit by bit now. Have I used to before? When I had to literally like go to things like Coinstar or the bank for people to count my pennies so that way I could eat the next day or for a week. Yeah, I've been there too. So both sides of the coins I've been on. I'm just at a point now where, where can I cut down so that way I can have most of my paycheck for myself and the things that I want to do. That's where my head is at right now. That includes not paying rent by myself anymore. No, I'm not gonna be doing the government assistance because I don't need to, right? I could still pay whatever rent. It's the fact that I don't want to pay that much. It deflated me because sure, rent can be paid. Bills can be paid, cool. But when things are dilapidating around you, who wants to live in a space like that? You know, I have mold currently where I'm at. I have a bathtub that's deteriorating. The ceiling is going to concave at any moment. And I'm sorry for the person that lives here next. Just is what it is. They haven't fixed my window that they damaged from the lawn care. They chipped the window. I just want to get rid of the things that does not serve me anymore. That's where my head's at with that. And it's going to get to a point where, as I said, I'm not going to be paying rent on my own anymore. Just not. I can't. And I need to prioritize me getting an RV. Now, this is very, this is going to be like a past episode in which y'all can refer to that I can look back on myself because I have no clue how I'm going to get an RV. I don't know if I even will like van life. For some reason, just see myself parking in the parks or using the apps that people use and so forth and just 
at least going on the weekends. I If we need to pay the rent and prioritize certain things and I have enough money to utilize to take care of another vehicle like that as such as an RV and it, it's just a weekend thing for now, at least in my head, at least I have it just in case we want to not have a lease anymore. And I'm talking about we, like just in a fact that hopefully <laughs> that eventually I'm not the sole person that pays rent anymore. I need to be free. <laughs> I'm just thankful that things always work out because in the thick of it and some things, it's literally back to back to back to back to back that I didn't know how I was even going to be able to move. I didn't know how I was going to be able to get the money to have movers and so forth because even through, you know, life, I have been moving from place to place since age 11, 12. So, and I mean, lifting heavy boxes and so forth and within a matter of a few days, like having to move at a moment's notice, like my mom had to break a lease and so forth and move on. And I think just mentally with my living situation now, I've always kept a high regard on where I stay. So that's where the emotion is coming in. And given that the market is so trash right now too, and it's like, it feels impossible to be a homeowner, but at the same time, who wants the headache to be a homeowner because there's so many horror stories with it. It's so expensive. I don't have that, you know, I'm just not at that place to be able to do something like that, I don't think. But, you know, a lot of people also get houses without money down. Like, there is it is a possibility. It's just, do people want to put in the work to be able to do so? At this point, everything <laughs> regarding this and the decisions I have to make within a few years, I want to say, because again, like this is going to be a really reflective video and you guys will see the growth and the decisions that I will be making over time. <sighs> the journey of me figuring out more things and now i'm at a point where i want to unleash so much and i want to get back to me no it's not like a self-centered type of thing it's it's nothing of that sort it's a healing thing so with this move i hope that it is the start of really true healing and rest for me because the fact that I can hear pipes dripping in my walls, the fact that I can hear the other people's water running, the fact that I can hear the dogs, you know, just ruining the place around me. It's just, it's so bad. <laughs> Like it got to the point where the littlest thing or inconvenience just is too much for me because of all the stuff that I've been through. They flooded my place over the years about seven times. And thank God, this is how God works. I have been here every time. So the extent of the damage has been stopped by me because I was here. Either I was on some type of break like a vacation, a staycation, or an emergency thing. The plumbing in the sewage backed up into my kitchen. Horrible. And like nothing was done. And if it was, the bare minimum was done. So I just want to shed the horrible experience that has grown to be of this place start anew so I can invest in things for me again it's overdue for me so minuscule
but it's so big to me. And I hope with more realizations in my new place and more things start to unfold for me, I just hope that as the travels start to begin again and so forth, everything starts to mold into place for me so that way I can be the woman and do the things that I just want to set out to do and be the woman that I am truly meant to be. Because one thing about it, I do recognize that I have been knocked down for many reasons, but I always turn back and I always get to a point where I'm able to push forward. That's nothing but God's doing. I'm just the vessel and the vehicle to do it. But the amount of times and the things that I've seen and still able to be positive through situations, but overall able to look at it through a positive lens that everything's gonna be okay and so forth. And then I go from there, okay? There's gonna be some things that try and knock you down and nuisances and everything. Just block out the noise. It's easier said than done, but I'm telling you that it is possible. I'm gonna end the video here. And if you want to see more of me, I have plenty of vlogs from last year, this year, do a little music here and there with my playlists and so forth, cooking and my lives. So just be sure to tap on in, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all the good things. And until the next one, take care. <laughs> I'm stupid, okay. This movie was so goddamn long. The journey of